Hi, it's Atomic Amy, and I'm here. We're going to be just doing a fun experiment called fingerprinting. And so this is really exciting because you get to see all the little details on your finger. So first, you're going to have your students take their fingerprints. And then second, we're actually going to place a print on a cup and lift it off, just like a forensic scientist. And so first, you're going to talk to them about dermatoglyphics, which is just the study of fingerprints and how everyone has unique fingerprints. Like every single person's fingerprint is different. Even twins have different fingerprints. And so you are going to first, they're going to get the fingerprint activity template. You can see I've done some tester fingers. And then they're going to get the fingerprint pattern template. And so what they're going to do is you're just going to take a pencil. It's really fun to have the high touch, high tech pencils. And they're going to just rub the pencil in one area so that a lot of graphite gets onto the paper. And then what they're going to do is they're just going to swirl their finger around just like so. Try to get all the edges and the tip and everywhere. And then what they're going to do is they're going to take a piece of tape. They're going to press it down on their finger like so, try to get all the detail. And then they're going to lift their fingerprint off their finger. And so that's my left index. So that's going to go right there. And you can see, let's see here, it looks like I have a loop on my index finger. So you can see the loop detail right there. Um, so that's one just for fun, just so you can see it again, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do my middle here. So just so you can see, the trick really is to roll that finger around, get as much on there as possible. You might even rub some more and get it all the way down because if you don't get it low enough, you'll actually miss the loop pattern on the finger. So just like that, dirty, dirty finger. And then you're going to put your tape down and you're going to press and then you're going to lift. So that is another loop. It looks like I'm very loopy. I've got <laughs> loops on all my left fingers. And it's fun. Try to have them guess what they might have. Just have them compare and contrast with their neighbor. And what do you have? You have a loop? You have a double loop? You have a tented arch, you have a whirl, how cool, you know, and have them look at each other's. Um, and make sure, too, that they write their name at the top of their sheet so they don't lose theirs in the shuffle. Um, all right, so next what we're going to do, we're going to move along to lifting a fingerprint off of a cup. And so all of your hands, all your fingers, all your skin has natural oils. But for this experiment, we're going to kind of enhance them. So you're going to have like a little bottle of hand lotion for each of them to pass around and you're just going to put a little have them put a little bit of hand lotion on their fingertips just to increase the oils and then what you're going to have them do is they're going to like press their hand onto the cup and really have them press their fingers on there so that they get a good fingerprint and then what you're going to do is you're going to take and just have them pretend, you know, now you're a forensic scientist. Look at this, you've got some, this is, all this is is tempura paint. And then have them, I've already forgotten where I put my fingers. Like they're gonna, you're gonna joke, like do you know where it is? Let's see if we can find it. So have them do it over a plate. And they're just gonna dust, they're just gonna sprinkle the dust around, maybe. They're just going to dust for their prints and they're going to look and see if they can find them. So see, I think I found one right here. If they find one, they might put a little bit more there. So you can kind of see that the prints are all over the cup. See, there's a bunch here and there's a bunch here. And so they can actually lift it with a little bit of tape. Ooh, look, there's a good one right there. They can lift it with a little bit of tape, or they can just look at it and try to figure out, hmm, does it match my fingerprints? They can just really examine it and think, you know, if we had a mystery, see there's a good one, if we had a mystery, would we be able to solve it based off of these fingerprints and connect it to, you know, this is how police identify people sometimes. This is how you can figure out who was at the scene of a crime. And so fingerprints are really very cool. 
Um, so that's all that I'm going to do. This is basically the fingerprinting experiment. The things that they can draw up from it are that everyone's fingerprints are unique. That's how you can tell, you know, who drank from this cup is you can dust for prints. And, um, yeah, just that's fingerprinting.